Hello everyone, Matthew Hawkins back again with another video. Oh boy, we had the news. Unfortunately, that the most successful coach in British basketball history and former NBA, NFL, NFL Europe, Sky Sports presenter Kevin Cadell has passed away at the age of 62. It has rocked the NFL world and the basketball world and it's been a topic on the my mind all day i feel like I, ha I must make a video i'm gonna leave a link to the sky sports articles one announcing his death and one uh, neil reynolds who's current presenter on sky sports for the nfl his tribute and how much it meant to him you should watch the video i highly recommend you just see how much kevin Cadle meant to him and it's heartbreaking that he's no longer with us in the UK, mainly Sky do it and the BBC obviously do it because BBC in Britain, one thing they're not known for is adverts. Where it's normally they'll read tweets or emails or texts back in the day and talk about the game. Uh, normally if it's a game like on Sunday afternoons in the US with the NFL, they'll always, you know, give in highlights from other games from around the league. I don't really watch it that often because I'm normally watching NFL Red Zone. And the night games now, they don't have that anymore. They just have uh, where they just have filler content. I mean, yeah, the studio chat they do is filler content. But I'd rather have that than them having filler content. If you're going to have that, just go to Adver. It's okay. But anyway, so many good memories. So many iconic moments. What um, Barney Francis, this guy, said in, that in, in his... Uh, article on the article on Sky. When Twickenham is full this weekend with the NFL, Kevin Cade will be a heavy influence. That his good delivery. I mean, hell, I love when he did the voiceovers. It was always really good, and it had that voice like it's gonna be an epic clash. You know, sometimes it wasn't always gonna be an epic clash. Let's face it. You know, but. That's what I liked. It got you excited for the game. You know, so many funny moments. Very underrated because, you know, it's very hard to find clips on the internet for this. You know, it's been a very underrated staple of Sky Sports over the years, been the NFL. But that's because of Kevin Cadle's good delivery and how that's got us to tune in, got me interested into the sport. I love it how they weren't going to take themselves too seriously. They, like, they want us to be enter to entertain you and... You know, it's quite funny. Neil Reynolds, he's done his fair share of good moments as well. You know, is that, but we're about Kevin Cadle. Um, you know, so many iconic moments. I mean, yeah, he hasn't been on the show the last couple of years. But it is such a shame, you know. And I hope Sky got to have a piece. Remember him so, mentioning some of the iconic moments he's done as a presenter. You've got to. Because, you know, would the NFL really be where it was today? I mean... Kevin Cadle really helped that, made it better. Just like how Channel 4 with Nicky Orm back in the 80s, Mick Lucker. Uh, definitely not the Vicious Boys. Uh, I know that. I mean, a lot of this stuff, like some of the iconic moments, like um, with the fridge or Huggy Bear from Skarsky and Hutch. I saw on the 2010 documentary Britain's Game. That brings me to my favourite moment. It's not related to the NFL, but it's related to back when he was a basketball coach with the London Towers. After they just won the title, uh, there's a little still of it. Uh, he's in his post game interview on Sky when he proposes to his girlfriend, and I just I quite like the moment. I just thought it was a bit crazy, but I'm sure that's what Kevin wanted, honouring his memory, and remembering all the good times and all the laughs we had, and just how it seems like he was such a great person to work with. And even when he finished coaching basketball, I mean Neil Reynolds did say in his uh, video about how much he was coached by. Kevin Kane, was, he was a mentor and helped him get to where he is now, where he's the main presenter. He's fronting the coverage on Sky Sports. He's the voice of NFL UK, pretty much. And, see, I mean, it's like that. Now you've got that on the BBC. You've got that with Mark Roberts, Jason Bell, Nursey on the BBC show, which is absolutely amazing. Just the banter they have. You know, it's, also, it's like what they have on Sky. So many good memories of Kevin Cadell. You know... It's him, smooth delivery, he's him presenting that coverage on Sky that got made me aware of the NFL. Eventually becoming a big fan, you know, really enjoy the NFL, it's part of my life. But 
All respect goes to his family and friends, all the people at Sky. It's good that the NFL is going to pay tribute to him at Twickenham on Sunday as well. I really am happy about that. If there's anyone that deserves it, it's him. Same if Nicky Orn passes on or Mick Luckers. They will need a massive tribute from the NFL community in the UK because they fronted the coverage that helped get the NFL to where it is today. You're getting regular season games in London, much to the... Uh, dismay of some americans let me know in the comments if you're one of them if you're watching on the possibility of the london franchise i would plan on doing a video about that one so keep an eye out for that just about uh, after i finished filming i saw the nfl uk.com article with mike carlson i read that also uh, on skysports.com uh, an article from sean gale about him feeling like he lost a friend and obviously both of them felt the same like mike carlson mentioned how they were going to be good buddies. They were going to work, I think, with Nat Coombs, I believe, on Talk Sports, uh, live Sunday NFL coverage. As well, they were good buddies when Mike Carlson worked at Sky um, back in the days of NFL Europe. Um, and in 96 as well, when the kid was part time because he was still a coach. And um, Sean Gale, you know, said about how close he was and how him and Kale showed him around London, got him coaching about London, about living in London and being on TV and um, he just feels lost. I mean they got so close they felt like family and he also mentioned about uh, some of the players that Kevin Cato uh, coached as a basketball coach and um, even after he retired he still treated them like family and they liked it as well. I'm like no let's get back to the video. But that's all I've got time for. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up. If you haven't, fair enough. Don't forget to tell your friends and click that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you guys next time. And not forgetting, rest in peace, Kevin Cadle.